Hey, it's a great man here again, and I'm doing this Simon Comics sub competition. I've forgotten what it's called again. Is it not 100 subs? Is it? Because he's already got 100 subs. Uh, but yeah, he wants to get more subs, and he's doing a contest. I, don't know, I think it's to celebrate the fact he's got 100 subs. So he's given away a couple of cool books to YouTube. Uh, so yeah, if, what you got to do, you've got to show two collectibles, two of your uh, ni nicest collectibles, uh, two comics that you would never sell, like on pain of death kind of thing. And, um, <clears throat> oh dear. I have forgotten what the other thing was. I'm sure there was another thing. <laughs> I'll have a check in a second. I actually made a note on my computer what I had to do, and I just shut my computer down just a second ago before I started talking. Right, now when it comes to uh, collectibles, I really don't do collectibles. I've never really been into collectibles. When I mean, I've got loads of superhero tat, I wouldn't call them collectibles exactly. I've got like uh, superhero socks, <laughs> stuff like that. Superhero wallet that I, you know, I think I've currently got a Cthulhu wallet. Before that I had a Batman and Robin wallet though. Um, I've got my little magnets that, uh, these are like books that I really want to, would like to get sometime in the future. So that's not exactly collectibles, but these are the only two bits of superhero stuff that I don't treat like detritus and just have them lying all over the house. These sit up on my comic shelves on display kind of thing. So those are Man, I got a little Spider Man that my ex girlfriend got me. <laughs> it's hardly a collectible though, it just sits on the shelf gathering dust. And then when I was working, um, a, co uh, a customer who was a bit of a uh, comic book geek as well, he gave me this like magazine thing that had a Batmobile on it. I actually had a really sweet Batmobile that I had from when I was a kid, but I sold it on eBay about, I don't know, a good few years ago now, maybe 10 years ago now. I sold it, it was, uh, kind of wish I hadn't, but you know. At the time I was going for a bit of an eBay phase where I was doing lots of eBay and uh, but anyway, um, right, so two comic books that you would never sell. Let me just open up this little note window that I've made here, because uh, I'm sure there was another thing. Oh yeah, that's it, I've got it now. Right, so, yeah, it's another thing. I mean, if you give me enough money, I'd sell anything. <laughs> I'd sell my soul, no, I wouldn't really. Um, not that I believe in souls anyway. But, um, yeah, no, I don't think there's any, I mean, there's comics that I really like, but I mean, if you sold them, you, you could buy a better one, couldn't you? So like, I just bought Demon Number 1 and the first appearance of the Creeper, which are two characters I really love, and I'm really happy with those books the low grade but they're like you know I don't care I'm low grade you know I don't, I don't, I don't mind as uh, long as they're readable and they, they look quite you know presentable and all that I don't need it to be if it, I think if I bought a, like a, a really high grade uh, key book I'd be scared to look at it you know I want to be able to touch my books and read them and look at the pages and see the adverts and all that I know that's why some people have readers and they have like a display or whatever one but I just don't see the point of having a, a, a thing that is designed for reading and looking at that you can't read and look at it just it just baffles my mind so yeah I can't remember I'm not sure I was going with that I've once again my mouth has run away and my brain is trying to catch up and it's not sure what I was trying to say <laughs> it never succeeds my brain and my mouth are two different things working at tangents with each other right where was I um I definitely had things to say but I can't remember what those things were now uh, I was talking about, I was talking about uh, um yeah yeah, I mean, I'm not worried about having high grade, you know, a high grade book, as long as it's readable and presentable. So, but anyway, so what I was thinking, my, someone did a contest the other day and they got the most sentimental book. And I suppose that's the thing that you wouldn't want to sell because they've got sentimental value to you. And the only ones I can think of, the only ones that were available for me to find out, I'm not sure which book was the first book that I ever bought. Uh, when it first came onto the shelves kind of thing. I'm not talking about books that I've bought as a grown man, like from the 60s or whatever, because, uh, yeah, they don't count. But books that I actually remember going into the corner shop with my pocket money, buying off the shelf myself. And those are the ones to me that are valuable because, you know, th you know they've got history, they've got personal connection kind of thing. Right, and the two that I know are really early in my collecting days uh, from are Brave and the Bold Ones, which I did show off recently, actually. I showed them off in my last Counting Comics video, which is why they're actually easy to find at the moment. Now, this is the one I always thought was uh, my oldest one. Uh, well, I had a kind of feeling it was my oldest one, but then I kind of realised it wasn't. But this is from November 1969, uh, two months after my 10th birthday, finally into double figures. I, went, I, was, I was staying at my dad's for the weekend. I went round the corner to the, the shop there. Uh, it was actually opposite Britain's uh, um, 
model factory. You know, the, the Britain's toys, they made little mini, mini, uh, miniature lead figures and all that. That actually was uh, around the corner from my dad's house, but I wasn't into those, so I didn't really, wasn't excited about that at the time. Didn't really think about it. But anyway, um, yeah, so Batman and Doctor Fate. So I always loved Doctor Fate. I mean, even if I wanted to sell this, I probably wouldn't be able to because I've drawn in pencil inside the Batman logo. Uh, I should go back to my 10-year-old self and cut myself around the ear. <laughs> but yeah, but even in them though, I didn't, I, didn't put them in, I didn't put them in bags, I didn't think about putting them in balls. They just sat raw on the shelves, gathering dust. You see the spine ticks all up there, uh, a curve in the corner there. That's probably just how, I haven't, I never mistreated my books, really, but they, I didn't go the extra mile to, to make them, you know, treat them well. So I might pick up a bunch of books in one go, a cover got, gets turned over or something like that. So easy to happen. That's why I said, obviously, bag and boards are good. But in those, I didn't, have, I didn't bag and board. So this one, I wouldn't want to sell because of the sentimental um, love of it, basically. This is, this is one that I bought. This is one that Little Grey picked up early on from off the shelf and was like, I like superheroes. I'm going to buy this one. Wow, look at that cover. What's happening with Batman? Oh, no, Commissioner Gordon, the Gotham police are trying to kill Batman. Why? <laughs> yeah, that's what he says there. But that's what I like about the old covers as well because they, they tell a story, you know. No, 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 these covers look so beautiful and pretty and the art is like amazing, man. But I prefer these old covers. This, this, I'm kind of jumping to the next question, actually. The next question is, why do you collect the age comics that you do? Now, I don't say I have a particular age that I collect, um, but I'm trying to concentrate more on older ones now. I'm not bothering with the modern comics. The art on them looks, looks fine, but I just don't think the stories are as engaging to me, and I, I don't like the fact that superheroes are getting killed every two seconds. I like my superheroes to, to look like they're in danger on the last panel, yeah, so you have to buy the next comic to find out what's going to happen. But you know in your heart they're going to survive. I like that. That's what I want. I don't want people getting killed in my comic books. Same reason I don't watch stupid soap operas and stuff like that, because it's depicting people dying. I don't, when it's like a horror film, whatever, it's just like, yeah, it's just a bit of silliness. But when it's a character you, you've, you've grown to love by reading their comics, and you, know, you see them die off, it's just like, oh, that's really put me on the downer. I mean, I'm pretty much of a downer kind of guy most of the time anyway, so I'd rather not get put on a down from fictional stuff. Right. Anyway, that was I've shown you that comment, but that's not even my oldest one. This one, I'm not sure if this is my oldest one. Uh, this is older than that one though. This one was when I was just nine, not even in double figures, nine years old. Did I pick it up because it had Santa on the cover? Maybe I don't know. Um, but it's, it's really weird though because I don't like I, I don't remember ever not knowing about comic books. So I think I may have read like UK uh, Marvel runs of comic books before this. They used to get these UK ones, not no colour cover, no colour inside, just black and white. And they were like, you know, 9p or something back in the day. I can't remember how much they were. And, uh, yeah. But uh, this is funny, this one, actually. Cause it, oh, it's got a price on there, 15p stamped on it. So, yeah, this one is really dark and worn. It's not too terrible, but, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's reasonable. But, uh, yes, yeah, so obviously, I don't understand why they brought out a Christmas comic in March. I, was surprised. I don't know if I can understand that. But uh, the night the mob stole Christmas. But anyway, that was from March 1979, when I was still just nine years old. Now, I've got a couple of flashes that I'm assuming will come up in a comic book look, in a, um, a look for my comic books in uh, one of my Counting Comics videos. And uh, they may be, they are from around the same kind of period as this, maybe earlier. It could be that there might be a flash from February or January from 79, or maybe even a 78, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I, I'm looking forward to finding my flashes. Anyway, this... Um, Batman Plastic Man on the Brave of the Bowl. I actually picked up another one in the collection and this one is so much crisper. The colours are so much brighter. The background is lovely and crisp. There's barely a blinking tick in the, in the spine. There's a couple of little ticks. Oh, I know what I could do. I could get rid of this one I got when I was nine years old. I could, I could sell this for a quid or something and put it to... No way, buster. I've got to keep the old one. <laughs> I'm not sure if to sell that one. It's nice and crisp and just keep the old one. Because, you know, it's presentable enough, I can read it still. Oh, I'm able to keep both of them. I, I don't know. I don't know. I actually should change this over. I should put the old one into this nice bag with the blinking backing board on it. Because, you know, I've got to show your old comics a bit of uh, bit of love that you never gave them quite so much as you should have done as a, as a young'un. Anyway, so why do I collect the age comics that you do? Um, because I like... Right, so I'm collecting older comics now. Because I feel I kind of got broken on, on that subject already. It's because I like the art. I like the front covers. I like the covers like this where it's like telling a story where you can see a battle going on. Fights are going down, you know? I like that, you know? 
makes you want to open up the comic and read it. Nowadays, it's just like a be a picture. Sometimes you get weird collages going on. Uh, you've got all this really nice looking art. It's very, I mean, you can't doubt the bloody, um, the skill of it. But I just like the old, I like, you know, I just want to, you know, I don't, these are bodies arranged in a tableau which makes me want to read it. <laughs> These other ones are just like, okay, so I don't know, I've got no idea what's going to happen in this comic. It's just a picture of, some fanciful picture of something with flashes going off around it. It looks really beautiful and looks like it'd almost be a photo, but it's like, yeah, it's a lovely looking cover, but I know nothing about what's going to be happening inside that comic because the cover doesn't tell me a story. And uh, quite, you know, quite often the, the quality, I don't think, is as good, really. I like the simpler times. So I'm going to be concentrating on the older comics because I those are the ones that I loved as a kid. Um, I still, I think, have enthusiasm for... The, the, when I stopped collecting in 2013, the modern comics I was getting, I think I was getting jaded with them, I was getting annoyed with them, and it, and it peed me off that my favourite heroes were getting killed left, right and centre. Uh, anyway, I've gone on far too long. Uh, right, so this contest as well... Um, yeah, I, don't, I'll go, I won't go there, but if I do win... Uh, I'm going to have to look because you've got to pay. You've got, if you win the competition, you have to pay the postage on it uh, because it's quite heavy books that you send in. And because I'm in the UK, I'm just thinking that the postage might be um, too out there for me to <laughs> to make it worthwhile sending them to me. But we're looking. If I, if I do happen to win, we're looking to it at that point. But I wanted to make the video anyway because you know I wanted to support Simon's channel because he's a go cool guy. He collects lots of great golden age stuff. Uh, I haven't got any golden age stuff. I'd like to collect at least one golden age book actually, just so I can say, oh look, here's my golden age book. <laughs> but um, yeah, but we'll see about that in the future. But I'll definitely watch. I'll look on, keep on looking at his channel to get ideas of possibly what golden age books to pick up. In fact, Simon, do a video like of like some cool, cheaper golden age books that skinflints like me could pick up, please. <laughs> anyway, good luck with the channel. And uh, I've been tagging like people in my videos lately to go check out the channel. So obviously, I'm going to tag Simon Comics. So there'll be a little circle up in the corner here where you can go and uh, like his channel, which you should do because it's cool. The link down below will lead you to the video. Uh, contest that he's doing and uh, let me just tag Comic Addiction as well down in this corner here and we'll put a little tag for Comic Addiction and uh, you should go and like his channel as well because he's a, a fledgling channel that's trying to grow itself and you know I'm all about helping people to grow grow like beautiful flowers that we all are inside <laughs> anyway, I'm off talk to you soon